this video we're going to do a bar 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 bolo technique. Justin, thank you for helping me out. We're going to do a technique where the person's standing and we're trying to dominate the belt, trying to knock the person down to their side and get their hand on the mat so they can go underneath and, and spin. But the person keeps driving, they have a good base and they're attacking my, my free leg. This technique is called the slide reset strategy. Let's get started. What we're going to do is highlight a battle that really happens when the person's resisting. Justin's standing up in the uh, De La Hiva. So I'm in the position. I could have the lapel or his sleeve, but ideally I like, and my, my technique is to grab the belt and push at the, the hip right here. And of course, if I, like the, the Mendez brothers, so it's Rafael, he hips out like this, gets a good angle, and then puts the foot here so he can pull the person in. Lift up and then turn the person to the mat. So when, he, when you're here, this is the great battle to win. When you can get the person's hip on the mat, then you can make the position. You can go in, inverted. This technique right here, when my foot's hanging out too much, it's very common that the person can leg drag you. Boom. And you don't want that to happen. So when I dominate the hip and I'm pulling him in, that technique works. However, it's very difficult for me to grab the belt sometimes. So usually I'm here at the, the lapel. When the person's touching at my leg like this, they can have the, the grip on the, the pants, they can have it on the outside, or they can have it on the inside. Either way, my objective is to try to find that belt and get their person to the mat with the technique. So when I feel this pressure, I'm gonna put my foot to the mat, and I'm gonna hip out and start getting leverage. My leg right here is engaged. As I start to do this, this will help knock them to the ground. Perfect. If you were to fall to the mat, I could, put your hips to the mat, hand to the mat, I could press and get inverted, grabbing the position, locking in, grabbing the pants, hooking with my feet, and continuing the position. But my goal right now is to grab and dominate that belt. And I know that this person is gonna keep coming up to fight and try to pass my De La Hiva. So, De La Hiva, I'm gonna be pushing, I'm gonna be engaging, I'm grabbing the lapel. I'm gonna strategically find his belt and try to get his hand to the mat, posting or his hip, ideally his hip. So as he touches me here, this technique is called the slide reset. He's fighting me, I need to reset and slide. So I hip out and push, start to press him. When he does that, perfect. Right when he touches the mat, I'm grabbing for the belt right here. He's gonna come back and try to get back up the base. Right there, my foot touches, I reset again. Now I have it. At this point, I already have the belt, I might as well put my foot right here on the hip. And now I have my, my technique. Please turn this way. This battle to win with the foot on the, foot on the chest or on the hip is a good one. Because I recently was in Brazil and I had fought a really tough kid. I got here, I went underneath, and then from here it was just so big, he kept basing out with his hand. And I couldn't rewind back and come up to the mount because he was so strong here. And it's like, like 100 degrees down there and I'm hot and tired and you know, the last training. So, what I came back and figured out, I was like, I just need to get back to here so that I can press the foot to the hip. And then from here, I can, I can work the pass or restart again, getting underneath. Putting my foot to the mat and spinning. So this is an ideal win. From here, if I want to switch, I grab the belt, this hand comes to the pants, I shrink the knee, and I can come up for the pass. How I wish I would have done that at that moment with that kid. But what we're trying to isolate here and highlight is this battle where you're trying to grab the belt and you can't pull him in, he's fighting me. So I'm stepping my foot out and I'm sliding. He pushes here, again he follows again, come back. Good, I reset again, I keep fighting. Good, and I resist, boom. Hand to the belt, don't come up. Even if he comes back up, my foot's on the mat, I keep turning. Got it, now I got my foot here, I can push him. All right, turn around. This is a great technique. So, re-slide. Really, really start moving your hip over the, the ankle, hooking the leg. And really push, push, and get him down. Once he touches the mat, grab the belt. Sit up again, if he can stand up at all. Because once I'm pushing that foot into the hip, it's gonna be really tough for him. As I'm holding the belt. Now, if I wanna invert, I bring my foot to the mat with the toes, I come up and roll. Good. Come up my toes and roll. Find the position. My hand grabs for the pants or the ankle. I'm grabbing the belt. I like to pull him in that position. So, excellent resources. I'm gonna, uh, you can check out YouTube and look at some of the Mbolo stuff that's happening with that leg on the hip, with the foot touching the hips. 
is, is a great battle to win. All right. And uh, I really have a hard time. I don't like when people try to leg drag me. So I take my foot to the mat. And every time they, they come to face me, I keep sliding. And I, they reset, I slide. Slide, reset. And try to win the battles to get to the belt. Get the personal um, post beam on the mat so you can get inverted. Okay. And uh, the, the VIP membership, we have all the learning modules, one, two, three, four, for the Berlin Bowl game. Um, for also, there's the DVD that's uh, selling through the different distributors, the Berlin game, uh, the Tony Pazetsky Berlin Bowl game. So check those things out. They're great resources. And techniques like this, the innovations that keep coming, we're just going to start isolating. And as the techniques improve, you know, more information will come. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for watching.